Alrighty, my friends, good morning and welcome back to the Wade Fishing Experience. Appreciate y'all tuning in today. My name is Matt. If you enjoy this video, please hit that like button, subscribe before you leave. Folks, today we are back on the beautiful bayou here in St. Petersburg and check out the morning we got going on here. Just an absolute freaking stunner. So, got a bunch of fiddler crabs. We're gonna try to do some sight fishing for some sheep's head, early season sheep's head, man. I tell you what, but the other fishing from a wade fishing perspective has been tough. Um, we are still in those summer patterns. I know temperatures are starting to drop a little bit, but um, yeah, we're still not into the season where I really enjoy being in the water waiting. We're getting close. So for now, we're gonna pound the pavement, do some land-based fishing, see if we can't get a mess of sheep's head today. Got my buddy Ben with me, looking to put him on his first sheepy. So let's go, y'all, let's get it. Whoops. Missed that one, y'all. Oh yeah, ton of sheep's head right here, y'all. Ton of sheep's head. There we go, y'all. There's one. There we go. That'll get us started. There's our first sheepy of the day. All right. Feels decent. Got a little pepper to him. I'll see if he's a keeper. Yeah, he'll keep. Thank you. Hey buddy, what's up? I just caught a sheep's head. Alrighty, my friends. First sheep's head of the day. That's a keeper. I gotta measure him, but um, he'll break 12 inches and that's the size they gotta be. So we're gonna get this guy measured, make sure, but then we're gonna dispatch him and get him in the cooler. All right, y'all, so 15 inches. That's a nice one. This is a good keeper. We'll get him dispatched and in the cooler. Let's brain him here. Kill him, then we'll gut him after we get the hook out. Bro, I just got stopped by FWC too. Really? Yeah, he's like, he was driving down the street and he's like, um, he stopped. And I didn't even notice because he, he stopped behind me. And then he was like, hey, hey sir. And I was like, what? And then I saw it was FWC truck. I was like, oh, okay. And he came over and I asked him if I could film it. And he said, technically I can't tell you not to. He's like, but oh, wow. I, I'm not usually comfortable on camera. So I was like, I respect that. I won't film. Yeah, that makes sense. But um, he didn't even measure the fish. He took oh, one look at it and was like, yeah, that's legal. That's fine. That's he was really awesome. cool. That's, awesome. that's the first time Speaking I've been stopped fish, in a long time. I, I got to update my licenses. Yeah. I don't think you can do it online. It's super easy. Yeah, I was just saying. All right, y'all. Here's what we're working with today. I've got a really small bobber above my leader. I've got 20 pound floral carbon, small split shot in the middle. Number two, owner, live bait hook, and a little fiddler crab, man. And that is the setup today. And basically what we're doing is we're just gonna be pitching around docks and pitching over oyster bars, um, fishing the structure for these sheep's head. And then right by that back leg, just kind of slip it in gently, gently, and then push it almost out the other side. Right. Just like that, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, there Thank you go. You. Absolutely, man. Hey, you've bobber fished before, I'm uh -huh. sure. Freshwater or whatever. Yep. It's a little bit different because sheep's head bite in a very specific way. It's generally pretty subtle. So you may see that bobber start to move a little bit, or you may see your line start to go one way or another. That's when you want to pay really close attention. Oh, okay. Now, you got to wait till that bobber goes, you know, at least a at least halfway under okay. and for more than a second. All you right. can't just jerk react, yep, pull set the hook. Yep. You, will, you will miss them every freaking yep. time. But other than that, it just, you get the hang it's of it timing, yeah. and, and timing. And basically that's, that's it, man. That's the rundown. Good deal. I got one, there we go. Nice. I looked away and then I <laughs> looked back and I was like, my bobber is gone. Yeah, that's that one we saw. I, was gonna say, I think that's it. Pretty sure that is. I don't think he'll keep, he might. Oh yeah, it's pretty good size. Nah, he's a little short. Huh. He's about 10 inches. All right, y'all. Here's another sheepy. Uh, this one is a little too small. He's probably about 10 inches, so we'll put him back. Oh, 
All right. Thanks for the catch, buddy. Looks like there hasn't been human life on it. Yeah, years, it's so. pretty dilapidated, which that brings up a good point. Old docks like this one where you can tell that it's been here forever. Yep. You'd see how it's starting to sag. Uh -huh. and there's a ton of barnacles on the pilings. Yep. This is a perfect sheep's head dock. Crap, just got cleaned out. You bring more than one bait tonight? I did, I did. All I've right. already got a 15 incher in the cooler, my man. Oh, you're doing good. Yes, sir. Yep, yeah, you too, I appreciate it. There we go. I think that might be a snapper, y'all. Nope, another sheepy. Small sheepy. I need a little sheepy sheepy. Go on, buddy. Dang it. There's one, smallie. Another smallie. Another tiny sheep, y'all. There we go. There's another one. A little bigger. A little bigger, y'all. There's a bigger one on that piling, though. But the little guy got to it first. Said it's a real light bite, and then uh, maybe I have a reaction fast. I don't know. Okay, one's on it. One's on it. Nice. Come on. Two are on it. Oh, big one. Real big. Come on, bro. Come on, eat it. Do it. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. He turned off of it. Oh, he's big. Ben, this is a big one. He's got it. He's got it. He turned off of it. Are you kidding me? You guys. Oh, <laughs> missed him. Dang it. Certainly not the cast. That's the cast. Come on, Matt. There he is. Got him? Yep. Nice. That should be a keeper. Come on, buddy. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Easy, boss. Easy, boss. So there's another keeper, y'all. That one's not going to be as big as the first one, but he's going to go probably 13, 14. So definitely another nice one for the cooler. Let's go. Yeah, just about. He's, he's like 13, 13 plus. So another nice keeper, man. All right, bro. We got to get you a fish now. Yeah, I know, right? Bro, get him out. Don't let him get in the dang pilings. 
Oh, good job, dude. You got to kind of. So what do I do? Is pull one in? Yeah, you can flip him on up. All right. Nice job, he's not dude. That big, but he's he's just wrapped around his yep. um. Oh, okay. All right. Boy, he strike. Ben's first sheepy. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. He's not bad. He's close, but he won't make it to yeah, keep. Yeah, well, that's fine. Live, but I'll get good. pictures for you. You can hear. I'll that. set him down and let you hold him. Awesome, dude. Congrats on your first sheepy. Nice. Boom. Yeah, very cool. Well, I'm glad very. we could get you one, dude. I was really... I was, awesome. I was worried there for a no, minute, no, but... we got him. We're good. Put it here, dude. Boom. Booyah. Boom. That was nice. Yeah, that was good. Alrighty, my friends, that's going to be a wrap on this episode. Thanks for tuning in and hope y'all enjoyed it. Good day of early season sheep's head fishing. Um, yeah, I mean, September's a little early for me. It's a little earlier than I normally start targeting sheep's head, but the wade fishing has just been super challenging, y'all. Um, if, you've, if you've been following the channel, you know summertime is a struggle. So it was nice to get on the fish today and nice to see that this bobber rig that I was using was effective. Uh, we caught that first keeper on the bobber rig and then about four or five more fish before we ended up actually losing the bobber. But for what we were doing, that was a great rig today. That's also what Ben was using to get his first sheep's head. And that was super cool. Always nice to put a buddy on his first of a new species. But yeah, folks, um, just get that bait up as close to the structure as you can. That is the key for sheep's head. Light leader, small weights, and a bobber. Um, that that's just gonna be your best bet around a lot of this structure, especially jetties too. The bobber rig is great for jetties. Um, and then you know there'll be times when you want to take that bobber off if you're trying to you know get farther under a dock or uh, just get make a particular cast because precision casting is such a big part of sheep's head fishing around docks. Um, yeah, I lost some tackle today. That's part of it, and I did lose a bobber somehow. I'm not even sure how it came off. So. The last couple fish I caught were, um, you know, just using a couple split shots and no bobber, which is also a great rig for sheep's head. Anyway, nice to get two in the cooler. Nice early season sheep's head outing. We'll see you next time on the Wade Fishing Experience. Cheers.